All right, good morning, good morning. I don't even know what I'm gonna say though. <laughs> Start talking. Should I have planned that? Nah. nah. Okay. <laughs> Big B's working on himself. Okay. Hi everybody. I have found myself in the position where I can actually start working on my own stuff and I've been working on my own stuff, but it has only made me realize that I no longer know what I am doing <laughs> when it comes to art. I've worked uh, five straight years um, in a studio, fortunately, that's, that's a good run. But I realized that I have lost touch with my fundamentals. So now my one of my main goals is to, well, my goal now is to get back, uh, is to re-familiarize myself with the fundamentals of drawing so that I can get better because I guess that's the goal of every artist is to constantly get better. Um, otherwise, what are you doing? <laughs> I guess fun, whatever, not important. So this week I am going to be practicing figure drawing, one of the uh, strongest fundamentals you can do. Uh, I have spent a long time as a character designer and I have been stuck in this rut of just drawing neutral character design poses and turning them in space. and. So when people ask me for other jobs to draw characters doing something, I find myself stumped and I don't know how to do it. It doesn't come naturally. I mean, I can get there, but it's a struggle. And for my own stuff, when I can see what I want a character to be doing but can't actually execute it, it's, it's frustrating. So we're gonna be figure drawing 30 minutes every morning, every day this week. I'm gonna be using two sites uh, for figure drawing since I don't have live models coming to my house because it's a pandemic. <laughs> um, but there, uh, there's a site called uh, Line of Action that is really good and a site called Sketch Daily. I think it's a subreddit. That's the subreddit one. Sketch Daily. I'll link everything um, so we can all do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sites are really cool. You can pick um, what kind of person you want to draw, male, female, adult, kid, uh, costume, nude, do you want them to be action pose, neutral pose. I think the subreddit one even has animals and locations, so, and then you can set up your drawing session, how long you want it to be, how long you want your poses to be, real good stuff. So we're going to start out pretty easy, I'm going to softball myself some uh, well, I don't know how easy it'll be. I probably know it's gonna be easy. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna get started and uh, wish me luck. <laughs> So it's been a week later. <laughs> it's been an entire week of uh, figure drawing, seven days in a row. So what did I learn? <laughs> um, the first couple days were just really stiff and like you could see how my line was really unconfident or not confident, unconfident. 
and by the end of the week I definitely was able to loosen up more and uh, catch the gestures. You can tell that at some point I was less concerned about getting perfect realistic proportions and I was just trying to capture the actual movement and weight of uh, the figure which I think is important. Sometimes we get bogged down trying to draw exactly what we see instead of trying to translate what we see into a, uh, a drawing. <laughs> it's not a photograph, so um, you have to figure out how to uh, pull weight and pull action that you might not even be able to capture in a photograph even. I definitely was getting a little grumpy by the end <laughs> of the week, but I think um, I'm just grumpy sometimes, so that has nothing to do with figure drawing. I would love to do a longer, I guess, challenge of it, maybe a whole month of drawing a figure every day or 30 days in a row, just trying to see if it actually helps with my normal drawing. The Sketch Daily site also has a, a structure tab that you can, <laughs> I was kind of playing around with a little bit, where you can do a drawing class for drawing buildings, <laughs> which is really challenging because drawing a, an ornate structure from Europe in 30 seconds, <laughs> it's really hard to capture, but I think it might be uh, pretty useful to train yourself to just quickly draw lines on paper and not worry about uh, once again, not worrying about drawing things super realistic, but just trying to understand how to interpret things on paper or your PSD file or your tablet, whatever. Did you figure draw at all? Uh, no, I did not. Hmm. I did not figure draw. Um, I... Oh, hey! Hi! <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, no, I didn't figure draw at all this week. Uh, I ended up not drawing. Oh, you drew your own stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, no, I, I mean, I used, uh, no. No. <laughs> no, I did all, um, sort of storyboardy style posing. Uh, nice. and worked on composition and, um, some setups basically for that pitch that I was trying to put together. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't get to, to be in school like you. Yeah, I've been only, I've been doing the opposite though. Yeah, you've been doing full school. <laughs> only school and not my own but work, so I need to find that some balance there. I don't know. It's valuable though, I should do it. It's super valuable. I'm in, well, I'm going to continue. You can continue with me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I would say this was a successful first vlog video thing. I spoke perfectly wasn't awkward or weird at all, so <laughs> that's success. <laughs> None of this is awkward. If you enjoyed this, join me next time on the uh, next episode of Let's Become Better Artists. <laughs> so, um, it's not my episode. I'm not naming. That's not what it's called. Okay. Join us next time for <laughs> Let's Be Artists Who Aren't As Bad As We Were Before. Oh, and it's we're way better. Getting good at it. It's way better. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.